right, good morning. This is a little recap of 8-bar blues. And so there's the 12-bar blues, which has very similar, has a slight variation. has a couple more bars, if you're into math. And the 8-bar blues, uh, which I feel is real common, it's really user-friendly, because we think of everything in 8s. And so we have our A7 chord, which is our variation of A major put the seventh in there to get the blues. We have the D7 chord. It's our little inverted. There's a D major, the D7. Index finger drops back to the first fret. Of course, we're just playing the four strings on that. And we're going to go back to A. And then we're going to cycle to the E7, which is our E major chord. And we're going to take the ring finger off. If you're feeling it, you can add the pinky on the third fret of the second string pronounce that seventh chord back to the D7 and then back to the A so it's eight beats I played on classical guitar to just to be a little cheeky one two three four it's gonna be eight. We split up that turnaround across the eight beats with four beats on the E7, four beats on the D7. It takes us back to our A for four. And there's different ways to do it, but just to kind of keep it all even, then we, we tag the E, which is our dominant five chord, one, four, five, A, D, E, for four bars. get the idea. All right. Hopefully that works out. If you have any questions, let me know.